Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel, Lady T's Things That Bling. And today I'm going to be blinging three cups that were special ordered. And I'm just going to show you how I do it. If you haven't already subscribed today, please consider subscribing and becoming part of the Blingers family. Alright, here we go. So like I said, today I'm going to be blinging three cups and someone requested these and um, their names, are, the people's names are on them and whatnot. So here you can see me doing one and I'm beating this one with burgundy um, beads, burgundy and gold beads and I believe they came out very pretty. But um, blinging cups is not really time consuming. Actually, it's a short process as far as I'm concerned. Um, but having lupus sometimes has challenges that cause me to have to stop working. And it may take longer for me to do it than for others to do it. So whatever the case is, I like doing it. Um, I like it because it's relaxing and you get to be creative. You know, you get to do things and even though you've seen other people do sort of the same thing, you get to be creative your own self, you know, come up with different ways to apply the beads and using different types of methods. Now that stick that I'm holding there, that was a wax stick and it wasn't that good to me, but it is what it is. So I had to switch over to use the other um, beading stick, which that wasn't working well for me either. So I was using some, um, some of the Aileen's glue to try to get it to, um, get them to stick to the stick so that I can get them to stick to the cup. <laughs> yes, it was a process for me, but I finally figured it out. And one thing about Aileen's glue is that it dries very quickly, so... It's not advisable to put the glue on a whole bunch of different areas because if you do, then you're going to have the problem with it drying up and you really don't want that to happen.
please excuse the noise in the background, but it seems like when I start to do my voiceovers, that's when everybody wants to come out and make noise. But here you can see this one is mostly done. I had to go back and do a couple of things to it, but it's mostly done. It was very, very pretty in my opinion. Um, this one, also the same. It's a little different because this one has a scarf on it. So... I would do that a little bit differently. And as you see, and I said don't put a whole bunch of the aliens on there at one time, but because these bees are big, I can put them on quickly um, where I put the aliens tacky glue. So I don't have to worry about that. So, all right, keep watching. So I'm pretty much done with the um, beading for that one and I'm just trying to make sure my box fit the cups fit inside the box right here and they do and I've got these boxes months and months ago finally I'm able to use them of course I got it from Amazon
So I'm trying to put some blue glitter on the lips of this pretty woman on the mug. If you saw anything you liked today on this video please consider subscribing if you haven't already and if you have please consider giving me a thumbs up as well as leave a comment below and i thank you so much for joining me have a blessed 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 rest of your day all right peace and blessings